get ready to be intimidated. These people have enough power, strength and survival instincts to bulldoze anything or anyone in their path. They'd send even the brave of us running for the hills. So today, I'm going to tell you about the 10 people you don't want to mess with. 1. Shifu Shi Yan Kicking us off is the man with more lethal physical moves than any of us combined. This is Shifu Shi Yan Ming, a 58-year-old Shaolin monk from Jumadian in China. On the outside he is innocent, peaceful and harmless, but trust us, he is not to be messed with. As a 34th generation Shaolin warrior monk, Shi Yan Ming has truly mastered the Shaolin martial arts. And has a skill set that could defeat even the strongest of bodybuilders. As you can plainly see, his moves are extremely precise and expert. For that exact reason, back in 1992, he was invited to the US to join the first ever Shaolin Temple Monks tour and that's where he stayed. In December of 1994, in New York, Shifu founded the USA Shaolin Temple, and currently teaches authentic Shaolin martial arts. He's trained hundreds of students in arts like Kung Fu, including a few celebrities, with such unique dexterity the media has drooled over him. He has starred on MTV, BBC, The History Channel, National Geographic and even a couple of feature films. 2. Vito Perbazari Vito Perbazari, a 6'5 muscle-clad German professional bodybuilding and fitness extraordinaire, who could crush most of us with just his little finger. When he's not pumping iron and increasing his intimidation factor, Vito is starring in Hollywood movies and TV shows. Over the years, he has made appearances in plenty, including a new Netflix series called, Dogs of Berlin, plus Tatort. Throw in a couple of shots, The Woodcutter, in 2019, and Lions Return the year prior, and his showreel started to grow some legs. However, despite his menacing appearance, he's actually said to be a rather friendly and polite person. 3. Giga Yuguru Giga Yuguru calls himself a real-life ninja, hailing from London in the United Kingdom, this is Giga Yuguru. A man as multi-skilled, and as physically intimidating as any. At the tender age of four, he was encouraged by his parents to take up Taekwondo. Little did they know the prodigy they had just created. In addition to Taekwondo he picked up Thai boxing at 10, and expanded his lethal skill set thereafter with in-depth training in both Krav Maga and Karate. Just for a bit of fun he added acrobatics and parkour to his portfolio. This proved to have a large influence on his overall fighting style, allowing him to implement hasty movements in every direction as you can see. With backflip elbow drops and rapid-fire short-range punches against trees, Giga is certainly someone that we would prefer to be in our corner rather than our opponents. 4. Emsaki Hatsumi Already, who here has heard of ninjutsu? No not jujitsu, ninjutsu. If it reminds you of ninjas well then, you've got the right idea. It's a martial art that originates from the battlefields of Japan dating back to the Kamakura period in the 1100s. Masaki Hatsumi is the world's most famous ninja and the only ninjutsu master left. At almost 90 years old, Hatsumi may seem old and harmless, but he could take down any mere mortal. Both men and women from all around the planet head to the martial arts mecca known as the Bajinkan Martial Arts Dojo, which is north of Tokyo. Why? Because they seek out one specific thing, training from the elite of the elite, Hatsumi Masaki himself. Hatsumi utilizes a combination of techniques from ninjutsu, as well as many other martial arts from ancient Japan. 5. Vladimir Putin While the next person on this video might not be a master in ninjutsu, he still could very well be the most daunting person on this video. Now, he is Russian president, Vladimir Putin. We all know that Putin has one of the world's most powerful nations at his fingertips, and we know that he's got a handful of equally powerful international friends. He's done some wild things over the years, and hasn't been afraid to break all kinds of rules to get what he wants. And for that reason, Forbes voted him the most powerful man alive. But, there is another reason, why this political enigma should not be messed with. Vladimir Putin has a 9th Dan Black Belt in Taekwondo. 6. The Iceman He is J.D. Anderson. This guy is nicknamed, The Iceman. This fearless dude smashes multi-inch thick blocks of ice with his head. No helmet, no protection, nothing. He's just a fearless human battering ram. And there's no way that we want to get on his bad side. 
he's also a six-time world record holder with a destructive bag of tricks unlike anything else we have seen. He could roll up frying pans in his bare hands and snap a baseball bat in half like a toothpick. Thanks to his wild bag of tricks, Anderson has made appearances on a number of TV shows, including, America's Got Talent, The Jay Leno Show, Guinness World Records, and a few international showings as well. 7. Martin's Lysis He doesn't break frozen blocks with his noggin for fun, but, he does lift more weight than anybody else on the entire planet. Why? Because, he is officially, the world's strongest man that's why. Unlike some of the former world champions, like Hafor Bjornsson and Brian Shaw, Martin's lysis comes across as rather unassuming at a slightly larger than average 6 foot 3 and 340 pounds. But, clearly, he packs one hell of a punch. It all began when he was introduced to lifting stones in Latvia as a teenager. 8. Bear Grylls Alright, we're pretty sure you've heard of this next guy, it's Bear Grylls. Across his TV shows like, Man vs. Wild, Running Wild with Bear Grylls, and Get Out Alive, we've witnessed Bear devour anything and everything for sustenance, a camel's intestinal fluids, elephant droppings, snakes and scorpions. Clearly this guy has no fear whatsoever, and knows how to use the environment around him to his advantage. But, that's not why we're featuring him in our video. While most of us know Bear as a survival expert, he's actually so much more. He's a certified black belt in Shotokan Karate and can protect himself quite nicely thanks to the moves he's learned. Whether that be against rogue animals or even more rogue humans. And he's got the endurance to show up anybody. He has crossed the North Atlantic Ocean in an 11 meter long boat, and climbed Mount Everest just 18 months after severely injuring his back. 9. Mustafa Ismail As a combination of Incredible Hulk and a real-life boulder, this is Mustafa Ismail. And his biceps are bigger than our thighs. No kidding. With an arm thickness of an unbelievable 31 inches, if you ask us, it looks like Mustafa has got a couple of tree trunks hanging from his shoulders. But, that's not 31 inches total either. That's 31 inches each. Dave Bautista's biceps are only 20 inches, to put that into perspective. How did they get so big? Diet and exercise of course. Thanks to a protein-rich diet, featuring 3 protein shakes per day and 10 years in the gym. With 3-hour session after 3-hour session this Egyptian bodybuilder has transformed from a scrawny kid into a human meatball. While there has been speculation regarding the natural weight gain, we still can't deny he's a giant. 10. Vidyut Jamwal Jamwal is one of the best fighters in the world. And he has made it into plenty of top 10 lists of the world's most elite. Originally from India, Jamwal started training in a unique style of Kerala, called Kalari Payatu. Fast forward a couple of decades, and now, he has done live action shows in more than 25 countries. Sharing his first class skills in front of the world. The majority of amateur fighters would focus on striking moves like kicks and punches. The world is full of bodybuilders, multi-skilled fighters and black belt champions in Taekwondo. However, some among these people are extraordinary. If you have watched this video till the end, you must have understood it well.